Um, have you ever wondered if you could change that little green Duolingo icon on your Android phone? Well, in this video, I'm showing you exactly how to spruce up your app drawer with a fresh look. Uh, it's about personalization, folks. Um, first things first, ensure your Android device has a custom launcher. I recommend Nova Launcher or Apex Launcher. Um, those aren't just names, they're, they're lifesavers for anyone wanting to switch up their icon aesthetics. Um, installing these will give you control over app icons like never before. Um, next up, you'll need a app icon pack from the Google Play Store. Uh, choose a pack that suits your style. Uh, most come with thousands of icons. So finding one that's perfect for Duolingo is as straightforward as it gets. Um, uh, the variety is mind blowing. Um, once your custom launcher and icon pack are installed, dive into your launcher settings. Um, this is where the magic happens. Uh, with Nova, for example, uh, head over to look and feel, and then to icon style. Um, it's your gateway to a world of customization. Um, now locate the Duolingo app on your home screen or app drawer. Um, um, long press on the icon and you'll see a edit or pen icon pop up. Uh, it's like discovering a secret door you never knew existed. Um, tap it and let's get creative. Um, and in the icon edit menu, you'll see uh, options. Um, um, tap on the icon itself and your icon pack options should appear. And, um, this, um, and then go through them and select something that shouts you. Uh, seriously, make Duolingo fit into your phone rather than sticking out like a sore thumb. Uh, uh, hitting OK or Apply uh, firmly sets your new icon in place. Um, the satisfaction of this little transformation uh, feels surprisingly rewarding. Um, it's the small things, you know. Your, your app drawer now carries your personality right down to uh, the green little owl's icon. Uh, for those worried about functionality, rest easy. This process doesn't interfere with the app's performance. Uh, it's purely a visual tweak. Uh, everything runs smoothly in the background while you enjoy a visually appealing interface. It's personalization done right. A common pain point I noticed is the clutter that icon packs can sometimes create. Uh, pro tip, maintain consistency by keeping a theme throughout your other app icons. And uh, this way, everything looks neat and coherent across the board um, because chaos is overrated uh, for the more daring experimenting with dynamic icons as another option. Um, um, some packs offer these dynamic elements for an extra layer of interactivity. Um, nothing shouts customization like icons that subtly shift based on real world conditions. It's an innovation worth exploring. Uh, feedback loops swiftly. Um, if you find yourself dissatisfied with the new icon, reversing the changes is as simple as retracing your steps back to the launcher settings and choosing the default. Um, it's almost like having an undo button for your mistake. Uh, finally, embrace the satisfaction that comes with such a tiny yet significant change. Uh, uh, it's a uh, flexible world we live in, and technology should reflect that same adaptability. Uh, every little icon change kind of makes your smartphone, well, yours. Uh, um, so uh, change, adapt, and personalize. Uh, your Android phone isn't just a tech gadget, it's a canvas. Um, make sure it represents who you are one app icon at a time. Uh, personalization isn't just a trend, it's a necessity, um, especially when your apps are windows to your world. Um, 